Hello students, I'm Librarian Nora Rackley. Including references and citations in a PowerPoint presentation is often difficult due to formatting issues. You should follow the same rules for documentation that you do in a paper. Include a reference slide at the end of your presentation and an in-text citation on the slide where you use the information. APA does not give any guidance on formatting references and citations in PowerPoint presentations. I usually format my text following the PowerPoint template I'm using. However, consult with your instructor regarding the preferred formatting. Let's see this in action. This presentation about mental illness has a title slide, content slides, and a references slide. As you can see, I have created two references like I normally would for any paper. For the font, I did not use Times New Roman. Instead, I matched the font to the rest of my slideshow. Again, make sure to check your instructor's preferences. To format my references slide, I need to highlight my references and go to the Paragraph Settings Launcher to set my spacing to zero my line spacing to double, and I can even try setting my indentation here to hanging, but this doesn't usually work, as you can see. To set my hanging indent, I'm going to click on View, and I'm going to turn on my ruler, as you can see right here. From here, you want to take your slider, the top one, and move it to the left margin. And then you want to take your bottom slider and move it half an inch to the right. This sets up your hanging indent. Let's see that again. You move your slider half an inch to the right to set your hanging indent. Once your references are correct, you can add your citations on the appropriate slides. And that's it. Now your presentation is properly documented. For more information, refer to the library's homepage, go to our library staff page to contact any librarian, or contact me directly at rackleyn at lssc.edu.